In June 2022, American workers made an average of $27.45 per hour. In 1972, the same workers earned an average of $3.88 per hour. Intense demand and diminishing supply have sent home prices soaring, and there's collateral damage from the housing shortage, record rent increases. And for today's Bloomberg Big Take, we're breaking down how higher interest rates are influencing property values, the commercial real estate market. The middle class crisis in America is only getting worse. Millions of tens of millions of Americans identify as middle class, as per the Gallup survey. Approximately half of the U.S. adults consider themselves part of the middle class, including 38% identifying as middle class, 14% as upper middle class. Only a mere 2% identify themselves as upper class, while the majority describe themselves as either working class, 35%, or lower class, 11%. However, the identification of the middle and upper middle class has decreased since the Great Recessions, and Americans are more inclined to call themselves working or lower class members. However, as time goes by, more households with an average income from $30,000 US dollars to $100,000 US dollars are going mad about the current state of the economy. So in this video, we'll talk about 15 facts that make the American middle class mad about their economic conditions. Before diving into this subject, consider supporting our work by subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell so you never miss any uploads. 1. Stagnant Wages Despite the economy's growth over the past few decades, the middle class has seen little change in their salaries. This has made it difficult for them to keep up with the rising living costs. Incomes are rising in America, especially for the poorest, but those in the middle, hit by inflation, have less to cheer about, says The Economist. Analyst reveals that average real wages have only increased by 0.7% over a period of 50 years, starting from February 1973. And today's value wages have gone up by 18 cents during this time. It's clear that an increase of 0.18 US dollars over 50 years can be accurately described as stagnant. 2. Fading Job Security The growth of automation, outsourcing, and the gig economy has reduced secure, high-paying jobs that come with benefits. This has left millions of middle-class workers in uncertain employment circumstances. According to a study published by Harvard Business Review, there's been an increase in the number of full-time workers who believe that working independently is less risky than having a permanent job. In 2018, only 18% of respondents agreed with this statement, but this number rose by 29% in 2021. This means that 7 out of 10 independent workers and 3 out of 10 traditional employees believe that independent work offers more security than conventional 9-to-5 employment. 3. Underemployment Regrettably, a significant number of middle-class workers are trapped in positions that do not fully utilize their abilities and qualifications. This has led to a decrease in job satisfaction and lower earnings, which is unacceptable. The job market's heating up, causing traditionally low-paying jobs to evolve into middle-class jobs. However, this has resulted in wage compression, where pay has risen more quickly for lower-income individuals, while higher-income individuals have been left behind. 4. Income Inequality the widening gap between the wealthy and the middle class is a concerning trend. Significant portion of economic gains has been going to the top earners, leaving the middle class with a smaller share of the pie. A report by Pew Research shows that from 1970 to 2018, the median income of the middle class increased by 49% from $58,000 US dollars to $86,000 US dollars. This is less than 64% increase in median income from upper class households, which rose from $126,000 in 1970 to over $207,000 US dollars in 2018. 5. High Education Costs College tuition and student loan debt have skyrocketed, making it impossible for middle-class families to become wealthier. 
The data for both public and private higher education institutions shows that higher education has become immensely more expensive over five decades. The average annual fee for tuition and required services at public higher education institutions in the United States was $7,638 U.S. dollars in 2021. This figure was significantly higher at private higher education institutions, which stood at $32,444 U.S. dollars. 6. Rising Healthcare Costs Healthcare and health insurance expenses have steadily increased, placing a heavy financial burden on middle class families, particularly those lacking employer provided health benefits. According to Forbes, with inflation rising, medical costs hurt the middle class most. Jonathan Walker, executive director of the Center for the New Middle Class and the report's author, says he was surprised by the sharp increase in the strain associated with healthcare costs in the middle class. Healthcare costs have caused financial stress for 31% of non-prime Americans, 50% increase since the pandemic, 23% of prime Americans reported strain, but only a three-point increase. One quarter of non-prime Americans struggle with the cost of health insurance, a 50% increase since before the pandemic. 7. Lack of affordable health care coverage Health care costs can be a burden for middle class families even with insurance. Study found that near elderly middle class families face the most significant financial strain when getting coverage on the Affordable Care Act's exchanges. 8. Unliftable child care expenses Expenses child care have become a significant financial burden for middle class families, often consuming a substantial portion of their income. Based on the latest data from 2018 and adjusted for inflation in 2022, child care costs vary depending on the type of care and location. For instance, school-age home-based care in small counties cost $4,810, $5,350 in 2022, while infant-center-based care in vast counties cost over $15,000 U.S. dollars or over $17,000 in 2022. These prices make up between 8% and 19.3% of the median family income per child. 9. Unaffordable housing It's becoming increasingly difficult for middle-class families to find affordable homes or safer home ownership, especially in major cities and desirable areas where housing costs have surged. In fact, a recent report from the National Association of Realtors and Realtor.com shows that over 75% of homes on the market are too expensive for middle-class buyers. The shortage of affordable housing is particularly challenging for middle-income buyers who are missing out on around 320,000 homes priced at or below 256 US dollars. This is due to high mortgage rates and a shortage of housing supply. The maximum price a middle-income buyer earning up to $75,000 can afford is $256,000 U.S. dollars. 10. Rising Debt Middle-class households often rely on credit cards and loans to maintain their standard of living, resulting in excessive personal debt and financial strain. Federal Reserve Bank of New York's latest data on consumer debt reveals that Americans' total credit card balance remained at a staggering $986 billion first quarter of 2023, matching the record high from the previous quarter. This reflects the highest balance level since the New York Fed began monitoring in 1999. Despite no increase in the first quarter of 2023, credit card balances have surged by $130 billion since the fourth quarter 2021. Americans' credit card debt currently surpasses the record established in the fourth quarter of 2019 when balances stood at $927 billion by an alarming $59 billion U.S. dollars. 11. Lack of Paid Family Leave Undeniably, the United States is one of the very few developed countries that lack a federal paid family leave policy. The absence of such a policy makes it highly challenging for middle-class workers to manage their work and family responsibilities without experiencing financial hardship. According to a Bloomberg article, despite the existence of the landmark Family and Medical Leave Act, for over 30 years, almost half of U.S. workers are still unable to access family leave. FMLA eligibility has remained unchanged since 1993 with a few paid leave programs available for U.S. employees. 
2012, retirement savings inadequacy is a challenge faced by many middle-class Americans. Low wages, high expenses, or limited access to retirement plans often prevent them from saving adequately, putting their financial future at risk. A recent Primerica study of middle-income Americans revealed that one-third, 36%, dipped into their personal or retirement savings. 13. The escalating expenses of essential items such as food, utilities, and transportation are posing severe challenges for middle-class families to handle their finances. Recent studies revealed that a staggering 82% of middle-income households have had to either deplete their savings or utilize existing funds to cope with the soaring cost of living in the last quarter of 2022. 14. Upward Mobility Crisis The middle class faces numerous obstacles to upward mobility, including limited opportunities for career advancement and income growth, leading to stagnation and an inability to climb the economic ladder. A recent poll from the University of Chicago and APNORC reveals that Americans are pessimistic about their chances of achieving a higher standard of living, with approximately half of respondents stating that it's become increasingly difficult to move up the economic ladder. Furthermore, over 54% of those surveyed believe that younger generations will not surpass the standard of living their parents enjoy. 15. Unavailable public transportation, according to a report on the middle class in New Orleans, find a vehicle is too expensive for many middle-income American households. Additionally, younger generations are less dependent on cars. As a result, efficient and dependable public transportation is becoming a new social priority for many metropolitan areas. Public transit can help reduce social and economic inequalities within a population. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and share your thoughts on the subject in the comments section below.